beauty. It's all around us. Hello, Laguna Woods Village. I'm Connie Carroll from Village Television, and today I'll be talking with Dr. Howard Knoll, who is the driving force behind bringing beauty, art, dance, theater, and special events to our neighboring community in Anaheim with the Anaheim Performing Arts Center, where art comes alive. Hello, Dr. Knoll, and thank you for letting me come to this beautiful park-like setting to talk about your newest project, the Anaheim Performing Arts Center. It's a pleasure having you here, Connie. Thank you. Well, thank you, sir. And tell me, what is the Anaheim Performing Arts Center? It's going to be the most unbelievable center in the entire world. We're going to make Anaheim the cultural capital of the United States. The center that we're bringing to Anaheim will rival Lincoln Center in New York, and it may in fact be larger than Lincoln Center in New York. And every aspect of this performing arts center will have every digital advancement in sound and line of sight uh, seating. Uh, we're, we're very, very excited about uh, what we're doing. It is a very exciting project, and you do know things about Lincoln Center because you hail from the East Coast, both you and your wife. Yeah, both Linda and I grew up in New York. Um, I know when I was a kid, I got my experience watching theater and, uh, and opera by only watching the second acts because I could never afford to go to the first act. So during intermission, I would sneak in and take a seat and watch the second act. So I, I, I loved growing up with theater and and with all of the performing and and a lot of the visual arts as well and and Linda is unbelievable she's the former uh, president of Musical Theater West uh, which is the best musical the theater company west of the Mississippi River and, and she brought that uh, that company from uh, Witty La Mirada to Long Beach where they have become the most successful theater on the west coast well, this is a vision to create the Performing Arts Center in Anaheim. What is the vision behind this creation? Well, you know, Anaheim is a, is a major city in the United States. If I said to you that, uh, do you know that Anaheim has more people than Pittsburgh? Or Anaheim has more people than St. Louis or Cincinnati or Honolulu or St. Paul or, or, or Orlando, Florida, everybody would say, get out of here. No, no, they don't. They're just the home to Disneyland. That's one of the main reasons. We are a major city that has no face other than Disney. We have unbelievable talent here in Anaheim. We have, we have a population that's crying for exposure to the arts, and we're going to, to give them that opportunity to, to learn the arts, to know the arts, and to perform the arts. We are so grateful at Laguna Woods Village, too, that you're such a close and good neighbor to us. And when you bring the arts to this community in Anaheim, you bring it to our community as well. And we definitely have a resident community that loves the theater, loves the ballet, the symphony. And yes, they are crying out for those opportunities to come here. And we're going to help fulfill those, those dreams. I mean, it'll be our pleasure to bring as many people in Orange County. You know, we have over three million people now in Orange County. We are, I think, the fourth most populous county in the United States, and yet very few people know that. They know L.A. County, they know Chicago, Houston, but they don't know Orange County. Orange County is no longer the bedroom community of L.A. Orange County is a dynamic, growing, unbelievable place to live, and we're going to make Orange County and Anaheim specifically the cultural capital of the United States. We can do it and, and we will do it. And we do have the artists to support it in our county. I know in our resident community at Laguna Woods Village, we have so much talent, so many great artists, and they will absolutely love seeing this new Performing Arts Center. Tell me, doctor, what will be in the Performing Arts Center? Well, you know, we, we, there are four major structures going into the center. One will be a full proscenium uh, theater with almost 2,000 seats. You, you can't make it any larger because you lose the acoustical value and the line of sight seating when you, when you start adding seats. Uh, commercially, a larger theater might be better, but if you want it to be perfect, it has to be a little smaller. We're going to have a 2,000-seat concert hall that will rival the best halls in Europe. And the sound will be unbelievable. And what we want to do, you talked about the people uh, uh, down in Laguna Woods, uh, we want all performers to have the opportunity to see if they can actually reach the level of performing in the theater. So 
we're going to op- open up our theater local to local talent. One of the differences that that we bring to the theater, say, other than Segerstrom, uh, down at Costa Mesa or the Cerritos Theater, is that we will be developing homegrown talent. We, we're going to partner with the school systems, with every major uh, nonprofit organization to give kids and adults exposure to the arts, the opportunity to perform, the opportunity to learn, and, uh, and, and we're very excited about th- uh, that possibility. That will be a treasure in our community. And in the Performing Arts Center, it sounds like you have this uh, variety of theater, uh, theatrical venues, and you have four distinct building types? Yeah, in the, what we have is we have what you would call a concert hall. And obviously in concert halls, you would have concerts. You can have a symphonic component, a chorale component. You can even have an operatic component. Uh, we're going to have a full proscenium theater for musical theater, for 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 a regular theater, for, for uh, as well for opera and other uh, forms of the performing art. And the third will be a black box theater, which will have multiple uses. You can do whatever you want with it. We can make it a theater in the round. Uh, we, we, can, we can configure it in a way where kids could come uh, and perform, uh, where their, their parents can sit in the audience. We're also, incidentally, thinking very strongly about bring, bringing the uh, Anaheim Film Festival to Anaheim in the Performing Arts Center. That block box theater will be the centrum, the fulcrum of, of where we uh, do the uh, film festival. We want to rival Cannes and Toronto and uh, uh, Tribeca in, in terms of bringing film to the West Coast where it is born so that we can uh, show those films and bring in uh, people to the Performing Arts Center that would otherwise never ne- never come. So there's, there's so much to do. The fourth building, incidentally, is more for the visual arts. We're going to have a, several museums on the lower floors. We're going to try and develop our own radio and television studios. So we're going to try and, and, and make this a center not only for, for the performing arts, but for the visual arts. I'm a big art fan myself, big collective. <laughs> That's wonderful to hear because we do know that you have collected a wonderful uh, selection of beautiful pieces. And knowing that you support that in Anaheim at this center will be a, a, just a really beautiful thing to have. I love hearing about the versatility that you're offering, especially in the Black Box Theater, that the configuration can be in so many different ways to support so many different activities. But special events can also be supported by this Performing Arts Center. Oh, no question about it. We, you know, we, we would like the city of Anaheim to have its uh, a state of the city event in the performing arts center each year. We want the opportunity with uh, with the 2,000 seat uh, venue to to have major events in Orange County and Southern California, not only in the arts, uh, even political events, to be there. There's multiple uses. One of the things that we're trying to bring to the performing arts center is a magnificent campus as well. If you go to some of the major campuses here, the, you go to the Music Center in L.A. or go down to Segerstrom, the campuses are not exactly pretty. They're more used as ways to get from one theater to the next. Yeah. Our campus will be magnificent, so we're going to be able to have weddings or bar mitzvahs or, or birthdays on the campus. Uh, so uh, th- there are so many venues that we want to bring th- uh, to the Performing Arts Center. It's very difficult to describe them all in a short setting, so we're very excited. The design is spectacular, and it features a tower at one end of the campus, and some special activities can be handled in the tower as well. Yeah, we're going to be partnering with the the Visit Anaheim people, Convention Center people, uh, to bring smaller conventions to Anaheim, conventions that otherwise uh, we wouldn't be looking for back in, you know, Paducah or on the East Coast. Because there's, it's tough to generate money when you have 100 people come out for a convention. But they will now be coming to the Performing Arts Center rather than the Convention Center, and we're going to house them in that tower. We're going to have their meeting rooms, their cafeterias. Uh, whatever they need will be there. Plus, in that tower, besides museums on the bottom three or four floors, this is going to be high rental space so that this Performing Arts Center will have the revenue to see its bottom line in the black, 
so that we can do all the things we want to do with our community and not have to worry about losing money. So uh, there's a lot going on, a lot of thought going into it right now. Well, Dr. Knoll, how can folks in Anaheim, Orange County, and Laguna Woods Village get in touch with the foundation and the organization in order to support the building of this Performing Arts Center? Well, I think the best thing is to visit our uh, website. That's APAC, A-P-A-C-F dot org. Uh, get on the site. Uh, certainly, if anybody wants to donate money, uh, it, it's easy to do it on the site. If you'd like to call our office, uh, we have brand new offices in downtown Anaheim on the corner of Lincoln and Harbor. Uh, you can find this listed there. Uh, get in touch. Get involved. Uh, we need hundreds no, we need thousands of people to get involved so that we can bring this, this, this unreal enterprise to fruition. We, we need everybody's support, so if there's any way we can get you involved, we want your involvement. <laughs> thank you, Doctor, and thank you for bringing this beauty and this art to Orange County and the city of Anaheim. It's been great to speak with you today. Thanks, Connie. It's been good to speak to you as well. And thank you for joining us as well. Don't forget, go to the website and learn more about the Anaheim Performing Arts Center.